afternoon all this is a walk that I'm a bit apprehensive slash excited for so come and join me this should be a good one So you've all seen the thumbnail you already know where I'm going but at the time of recording I don't know yet <laughs> it could either be Towin or Abu Dhabi depending on how I feel so I'll be following mainly the Welsh coastal path I'll be following that all the way to Towin or Abu Dhabi and then I'm getting the train back so for those of you for those of you who have seen my Barmouth video, my walking to Barmouth video, it's pretty much similar video to that, the one I'm doing today. So, so that's what I'm doing. A bit apprehensive. Hopefully I'll make it. So, yep, no time like the present. Let's do it. Even though I've been wanting to do this walk for a while, I only decided to do it last night. I had a look at the um, the weather report for today and said it was going to be 95% cloud cover. Wrong again. It's far better than I thought it was going to be. It turned out to be, so far, a perfect day. If I'd have waited 5-10 minutes, the train would have passed me while I, was, while I was still on that bridge. There is a train coming on its way to Birmingham, apparently, according to the, what the tannoy said. I'll wait here a minute while it passes and um, carry on with the walk. I'm at uh, Morva Malvach train station. It's the next station along from Barmouth. The next train will ride at platform one. It's the 1269 service to Birmingham International. So as I've just said, that's uh, more of a Malvach train station and it's also got a car park and public toilets. That's where I originally was going to start the walk, but then I thought, hmm, it won't be as cool if I started here instead of in Barmouth where I go over the bridge and not show you those amazing views. So just for you guys, I thought I'd add an extra mile to my walk. <laughs> Hmm, not what I'm expecting so far. I thought there'd be a, like a little curb or a pavement that I can walk on, but I didn't expect to walk on the side of the road. But I know for a fact that leading up to Llwyngurul, which is the village after the next one, I know for a fact that there is a pavement that I can walk on. So while I was planning for this walk, Google Maps was also giving me an alternative route, which is up in the hills up there. But I chose not to do that because I've decided to come back sometime to do a separate video because I've heard great things about, about that hill and, and the walks that you can do. So keep that in mind, I will come back. So if there's any of you like me that like to watch the Big Bang Theory, you already know the concept of Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> to me, at the moment, it's like Schrodinger's walk. I don't know where I'm going to end up. So we'll see till the end of the day, at the end of the day, where I'm gonna end up. I mean, you guys already know, you've seen the thumbnail. I don't, yet. Okay, I've re rejoined the Welsh coastal path and contrary to what, I've, what I thought, it wasn't coming from Fairbourne, it was actually coming from that way, up in the hills. Okay, so I'll be following that all the way to my destination and I should be right next to the train line until my, until my destination as well, so that's just over there. So I'm in Friog at the moment and I think the next village is Llwyngurul. Okay, 
We're getting there, I'm about three miles in. I've got about 10 to go, at least 10 to go. Still haven't decided where my destination is yet. Back I go. <laughs> Turns out I was right about the Welsh coastal path the first time. It was indeed going through um, Fairbourne, but the signs, I've been following the, the signs and it was leading me back that way. So the signs that I saw earlier that were pointed towards the hills does indeed go towards Towin. Okay, so I have to go back to the main road now and follow that until my destination so a bit annoying so it's only about a quarter of a mile off piste so it is what it is So that's where I just turned around and uh, headed back up to the main road. I know I keep going on about it, but it looks like a pretty nif nifty spot for a, a car camp. Oh, another thing I, that I was wrong about. I thought there was a pavement going up to Llyngurl, up, the, up this hill. No, I was wrong. How many more times am I going to be wrong on this, on this walk? Oh dear. So there's one thing I've just noticed about this beach. It looks like a smaller version of uh, Harlech Beach, so instead of Port Madog, you've got Barmouth just there in the background. How cool is that? And I could just see the train pulling into Barmouth right now, the one, I, the one I, that passed me about 10 minutes ago. Oh, I tell you what, this is needed. I haven't stopped since Barmouth, and I've done, I've done nearly eight miles so far. And Google Maps is telling me that I've got about, oh, about seven miles, six and a half, seven miles to tow in. But I've also noticed that there's a, um, if I keep to the coastal path, it will, allow me to cut a huge chunk of the route so I'll cut right through instead of going all the way around if I stick to the road so it'll, it'll save about a mile and a quarter or half an hour of my route which will help me greatly and and I think my final destination is going to be towing because my feet are warm but at the moment See how I feel when I get to tow in, but it's looking likely that that's going to be my destination for today. Not a bad place to stop, is it? I'm glad I stopped a bit. It feels like I've got a second wind right now, so it's all looking good. So I'm about an hour and a half away from towing or five miles, probably under. So yeah, so I'm gonna stop waffling now. I'm just gonna enjoy this walk.
well, made it back to Barmouth. And as you probably worked out, I didn't make it to Aberdovey. If I had, it would have been absolutely pitch black and it would have damn near killed me. Oh my goodness. But I still bloom and enjoyed this though. I mean, if there was one aspect of, if there was one part of the walk that I wasn't particularly keen on in compared to the rest of it was probably the last two miles. It was a bit of a slog. And unless you're looking left to, towards Kader Idris, then there's, there wasn't really much to see. But I still enjoyed it. You know, when you catch a train at any train station, you're always trying to choose which carriage is going to be the best to sit in. Like, you know, clean windows, quiet passengers. I had none of those. <laughs> there was even a woman on the train boasting about, about the time that um, she forced a bus driver to pull over because she was about to wet herself. Really? For the whole train carriage to hear? Not something to be proud of, love. But anyway, it was amusing, to say the least, but hey-ho. <laughs> I can see the car. <laughs> well, the sun's gone down and so is the temperature. I am absolutely freezing. So, so at, the, at this stage, I'm going to sign off. So thanks very much for watching and thanks for helping the channel pick up. It, it's starting to gain some traction a little bit now. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. So, bye to you. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.